All right, Mr. Tambourine Man, uh, live at Newport. So I think, since this is live, I can um, play it in the background without being totally copyrighted and have a strike on the account. So we'll try it. We're gonna try something different and try to um, analyze this uh, harmonica. So we're in the key of E for this. Um, I'm using black gold uh, harmonica. Uh, if we can see that there, again, key of E. Um, again, he, Dylan is not using this harmonica when playing. Obviously something very different, but it's going to sound pretty on par. Um, so, um, he has a couple, um, parts for the, uh, for the, uh, harmonica here. Um, kind of in the beginning when he, where he's setting up and just doing the intro of the song. Um, so here it is. Kind of in that beginning there, kind of just like draws, like on six. Um, and then blow, like draws on six, and then like blows on five to end it. it has a little guitar part, and then gets into it again. It's a lot of drawing in the beginning. And kind of has that like momentum thing where he's just like he's never like leaving the harmonica fully. Like that part right there is just kind of like hanging on it. We'll draw a little um, bends there. I hear this part right here without me playing. Another little bend there. Bending at like four or five. Kind of, I think he settles like. Four or five ish, still, I think. Actually, maybe lower at three. Okay. Um, so that's that part there. Let's see if we can uh, find um, the next part. All right, so we found the part here. Um, I think there's a part at the end, too, but uh, here's the one right before the last verse. This is very similar to the beginning. So again, just a lot of blows and draws, but like always doing something. You hear the wind. That bend right there, then gets a little bit higher at like seven, eight. We'll go back a little bit here. This part, I think it ends at like six almost. Maybe five. Leaning towards four, but kind of on five on that last part. K kind of, kind of just the same thing, just. And then. It kind of just fades. He kind of wants to go higher and keep going, but I think it's like maybe six. And then like the fade would, and I think you want to end on a blow. So draw on six, seven. And then like five-ish at the end there. All right, so now I want to uh, maybe do some sort of analysis um, a little bit better with the video on the screen. This is called Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Please play a song for me. 
So um, obviously it's going to be inverted. So his low part is going to be our right, and the high part is going to be um, our left when looking at him. So again, has a little drop low there in the beginning. Here comes the bend. You can see it. That's actually pretty low, or lower than I thought it was. Um, actually, now looking at it, so maybe like three, four. I forget what I actually even said, but go back. You can see the bend again. It really gets a lot. You can see a lot of his mouth just all over the lower part there. Said this time a little bit higher. Right here. Has a side view, so we can't really see this part that all too well, but same kind of concept that he did in the intro. Man, that's a perfect shot there. That is awesome. And it zoomed in all the way there. Look at that. Again, just like that bend, like very low bend. Uh, huge draw there. And look, look how high he's actually going. How he jumps up. See, he, he he jumps up perfectly on that draw. And again, ending. Look where his lips are. If you can see my mouse, um, like we kind of were on that, like three, four, five. For the end there. Um, and then, very, very end here. Oh, oh. See, he, he, go, uh, he goes a little bit lower. Play a song for me. Get in that jingle jangle Look at morning, man. I'll come following So again, he has that huge draw at like six. And then goes towards the end there. So hopefully that helped out. A uh, little video analysis of this.